It is the summer solstice. Well, we'll start to lose a little bit of daylight starting tomorrow. The hottest weather of the year is still to come. And as the years go by, it's getting hotter, but not in the way you might think. Meteorologist Matt Gray is here to explain why. So for the next 87 days, the average highs of the Spokane area are above 75 degrees. The hottest weather of the year these next 87 days of summer. Weather records in Spokane go back all the way to 1881. So if a year makes the top 10, it's kind of a big deal. That said, here are the years with the hottest average high during those 87 days of summer. The top three, well, they're all pretty recent. They all happened since 2000. but. Wait until you see this. Here are the top 10 warmest average lows for our hottest period of the year, and all but two of them have happened in the last 20 years. Quite a difference. Now, in the last 53 years or so, since 1970, Spokane summers, they're warming up, and they are warming up fast. Almost four degrees warmer in that 53-year time span. But the rate of warming at night, well, it's going up a whole lot faster than the overall number. Now, when people talk about global warming, climate change, you tend to talk about a lot of the eye-popping high temperatures. But tell you what, the temperatures at night, they can often be even more impactful. Well, here's an example. A worldwide sleep study in 2022 revealed that warmer nighttime temperatures reduced how long people sleep, mainly by keeping people from falling asleep for the first place because it's too warm and anyone who has tried to go to bed without AC after a 100 degree afternoon, which I think many of you watching understand that, you know this struggle during those hot summer days. We all also know that your mental and physical health often suffers when you don't get enough sleep. So if you really want to see an impact of climate change, look at this. Prior to the last 10 years, the warmest period of weather in Spokane, that was in the 1930s, there was an average of about 27 nights a year with lows of 60 degrees or warmer. Things went down a little bit. The last 10 years, however, big change. The average is 39. Those old records in the 20s and 30s, they are quickly becoming irrelevant history and there has never been a stronger case to have air conditioning in your home. Wow, Matt, thank you.